everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. Just checking out thronebutt.com to see how we did yesterday. Two days in a row! Top 13%. We were rank uh, number 403. So again, basically like, you know, top 1 in 8, basically. Um, but we can do better. We can be better than that. Let's see who our character is going to be today. Uh, no, I'm not ready, honestly. I, I know. I appreciate it. I'm not ready. I hate randoming like this because it means that we have a, an actual chance sometimes to seemingly run into a big bandit on the first floor which just completely fucks with the levels and stuff like that we hopefully won't um we can play as robot i'm admittedly pretty bad about remembering when we have to use gun nutrition so i'm going to try to be better about that i think step one is probably not recycling oh that sucks uh not recycling your wrench into more revolver ammo and not recycling your revolver into more wrench ammo which is obviously meaningless um but it's good, the thing I like the most about this robotic type friend that we got here, oh that was dumb, is that um, he gets good weapons early. SMG maybe not the best example of that, but uh, he's supposed to get higher quality weapons earlier in the game, which is great for us. I don't think I particularly want bullets, so I'll be happy to take a random ammo type, and we got shells there. And we are going to hit level 2, maybe level 3 if we get super lucky, but it's probably extremely unlikely. Yeah. Okay, let's get used to some mutations here. Uh, extra chest people have told me about. The extra chest spawn gives you a chance to have an extra weapons case, an extra ammo case, or, not and, or an extra rad canister on every floor. That's pretty good. You know, you can imagine, like, one extra rad canister early could be, you know, two mutations on the first two levels. It has the potential to be pretty solid. But, uh... I think we we're going to take second stomach instead because it's second stomach. It's it's probably amongst like the top three or four mutations for me in the game, in my personal opinion at least. We'll get rid of wrench at our earliest convenience, you know. I, we haven't really had a weapon that's that's supplanted it. Uh, <laughs> bazooka's kind of tempting. You know, I'm going to take the pop rifle. And there's no reason to recycle this stuff. Like, it doesn't make sense to, uh, to recycle when we're at full ammo, I think. So, I'm not going to. We got some extra energy there. Again, I don't really need bullets, so I'm going to be content with this. Uh, probably Bloodlust here. Not my favorite weapon loadout, but I got to admit, Pop Rifle's not so bad. Pop Rifle is the one that people actually like. Pop Gun is the one that people think is trash. Did hit level 4. Obviously, I'm not in the best position uh, HP-wise, but that's what Second Stomach is for. Toxic Bow. History quickly crashing through your fro. Toxic Bow. I don't really want to take Toxic Bow. That much should probably be pretty apparent. And I'm just going to keep basically picking up uh, whatever ammo type the game wants to give me. I don't care about picking up bullets for Pop Rifle. I'd rather just get random ammo types to use on, on something else. Alright, let's not chicken out on this one. Right back to 7 of 8. That's pretty good. We need this rad canister, of course, and that might be the end. It's not the end. That's okay, we are at the point where, unless we get scarier face like immediately, this wrench is going to lose its effectiveness extremely quickly, so... We'll be looking for something other than that extremely soon. Bloodlust doesn't hurt there either, obviously. Now we're done, okay. Full HP. Uh... Yeah! I think gun nutrition is a little bit more reliable than back muscle now that back muscle doesn't give us drops, so... No. It wasn't my favorite choice of mutations ever, but I, I, I think I've explained myself for why I'm choosing one over the other. Uh, this is not a good loadout to have, and especially as Robot, I feel, honestly, a little bit ripped off. We're supposed to have better weapons dropping earlier in the game, advanced technology as the case might be. Uh, we haven't really benefited from that very much at all right now. I think, at least. I actually kind of, and this is crazy, I, I prefer the... Uh, no, 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 no! Okay, well, this is fine. I prefer pop gun to pop rifle just because you can fire it faster but I know that that's not very wildly or widely I should say held uh, belief so the assault slugger is awesome the problem with it is that it uses a, a absolute insane amount of ammunition so we're gonna have to be very cautious about that especially without back muscle to kind of help us out and I mean I realize that I'm the guy who chose not to take back muscle at the same time I hope you understand why oh that was yeah, I deserve that one. 
I can't believe that you guys are always mad at me. The IDPD is always mad at me, man. IDPD won't let me be or let me be me on MTV. They try to shut me down in Nuclear T, but it feels so empty without me. Yeah, it's going to take us back to max HP. It's not like we have strong spirit or anything. Uh, it would be helpful if we stopped missing so much. Like, that would be a huge help. But that's a that's a tall order. I do like Splinter Pistol. Mostly I need to actually recycle some guns. Uh, we'd rather have Rabbit Pop. Okay, Splinter Pistol. Recycle that. Uh, pick up Splinter Pistol. Okay, I mean, I, Splinter Pistol's a little dangerous. Without homing bolts, I feel. What the heck is going on there? Did you see that... Weird, like, light ball? What is that? <laughs> Not really a ball, either. You get the idea. Okay. This is a good, easy way to take out assassins, as well. I didn't even see that one that was close by. Okay, good stuff. Um, why am I using Splinter Pistol? Because the Assault Slugger is precious. We can always recycle it for more here. Slugger. Well, definitely we recycle Slugger into one ammo for Assault Slugger. Alright, maybe I didn't think that one through. Minigun. Oh, we could use it. We could use it. Eagle Eye plus Minigun seems really strong. Um, I know I didn't recycle. It's going to use ammo so quickly. But it's also... It's so good. Auto shoddy. All the hotties with their shinies in the caves. Use your booty. Yeah. I gave us a lot. I, guess, I mean, I guess we can recycle the auto shotty into more minigun bullets. It's like 50 bullets. There's nothing wrong with that. Three shells for two enemies is not a terrible deal either. Three shells for one enemy is not as good, admittedly. I, you know, we, we should run into ammo-related issues here. This is a bit tricky. But if we get... Oh, we have rabbit paw... Do we have open mind? No, we got second stomach instead, right? See, that's pretty solid, and being able to hold max shells. I mean, don't take it as, like, me saying, oh, you know, fuck back muscle just because I didn't take it. No, that's not the case. I still like back muscle. We should fire faster than that, uh, even if we're worried about ammo. Um, I still like back muscle. It just didn't make sense to take over gun nutrition, I thought. I would like to have both of them in conjunction, if possible. Oh, come on. That was <laughs> absolute fucking horse hockey. Uh, yeah, plutonium hunger is going to be good for us. I know that we could use weapons chests, but I think this might be more functional for us than weapons chests. Some more ammo for our minigun. I'm still pleased with that as a warm-up. It was a bad way to die. We learned, you know, don't fuck around with burst firing. There we go, we'll do our daily as a robot. Don't fuck around with burst firing if you have the minigun. Just go for broke, man. Alright. Better weapons sooner. Let's make this happen. Turns out bullets would have been very important there. Strong spear would have been a great pickup as well. It's, it's sad that we didn't let that or have that happen. Just recycle our screwdriver into more bullets right away. Uh, nothing up there. That's okay. We didn't level up on the first level. Just puts us that much, clo that much closer to getting a double level on this level. It can be done. Okay, more bullets. Level two, very quickly there. Pretty much never stop firing here. Don't want to take any damage. Any damage puts us closer to death. That's the axiom by which we're going to live our life. Triple machine gun. A good pickup to hold uh, while we wait to see if Eagle Eye shows up early. Because if Eagle Eye shows up early, this triple machine gun all of a sudden can be very, very fast and very, very potent. Okay, we're done, but again, we're that much closer to level three. That's okay. Um, Eagle Eye has shown up. I'm going to take it over Rabbit Paw. That's how much I believe in this. So every time we fire, it's going to fire three bullets, but look at how closely they, they hit there. It's a little bit better DPS, I think, than, a, uh, than the Assault Rifle. And I rarely get to use it effectively, so bear with me here. See, that was just great timing, wasn't it? All right, let's see what we got down here. Grenade launcher. Triple machine gun plus grenade launcher seems like a decent uh, decent haul here. Recycle for some more explosives. Slugger is so good, too, though. Yeah, okay. Recycle grenade launcher for bullets. Take the slugger with us. Because we could run into ammo problems here. This is, this is more of what I was thinking of when it was like, you know, robots good technology, basically. 
that advanced technology. I'm gonna take plutonium hunger over scare your face for the ammo. And the rads and the, you know, everything else. It's a tough choice though, I'm not gonna lie. Your loving keeps me high, to keep you by my side. There's nothing that I won't try. Butterfly in her eye in the looks to kill. Time has passed and I'm asking, can this be real? Can this be real? Sorry, oh, hello. Triple machine gun gives us something that I'm realizing is extremely valuable in Nuclear Throne. You know, the more Nuclear Throne I play, the more I realize how important this is. The ability to spam just a fuck ton of shots and kill a lot of enemies. It's extremely important. It sounds like, you know, common sense. But, you know, some in some of these games you peek out from behind a corner. Okay, we need that, obviously. We're not going to be able to get that ammo, I think. Um, let's get more bullets. Max HP. Okay. Um, in some of these games, you know, you peek out from behind a corner and hit an enemy, go back behind the corner. That's all well and good, but the second stomach, obviously, I'll pick up there. Uh, in Nuclear Throne, there's something to be said for basically just walking into an area and firing so fast that the majority of enemies die before they can do any damage to you. Obviously, we have to be extremely careful. Oh, you were dead. I'm sorry, I didn't realize, sir. You were quite convincing. There is something to be said for Sledgehammer, I'm not going to lie. If you love one, keep speed. No, I'm not going to do that again. Um, I'm content with this loadout, though, and Slugger... Most of what Slugger offers me is the ability to fuck with it, and I don't want to fuck with it. I'm happy with it right now. Uh, I think we got everything here. We're going to head down to the next level. I would be much less apprehensive if we just picked up a strong spirit mutation. It's a, it's a pretty core mutation for me. There's an assassin behind me. I see it. Yeah, basically, I don't care how much ammo it takes, just don't give him a way out. Okay, stop missing as well. I mean, it's nice that we're getting the, the ammunition back, but... I'd rather just not spend so much in the first place. Are there any... Yeah, there's a uh, sniper in here. we got to watch out for that. So there's another auto shotty. I don't know if we're going to be able to get around IDPD. And immediately, of course, after saying that, hello, it's IDPD. Probably triple machine gun territory. Okay, we're gonna leave our rad canister behind. I'm not happy about that, but we did get strong spirit. Look, mistakes were made there. Auto shotty is here though. Uh, I'm gonna recycle that into more bullets because we have more space basically for more bullets. The slugger, we're gonna tap out in a few shots. So I wanna keep triple machine gun ready. I'm not taking any crowns here. I don't think we can afford it. Maybe like no weapons cases, only ammo cases, but I don't wanna mess with it. We got a decent thing going right now. Okay, it's good, it's good. Don't freak out. Well, it's not good. Let's not be crazy, but it could be worse as well. <laughs> We're out of bullets, okay. That's bad. Oh, shit, strong spirit's gone. Admit it, you thought that was it right there. Oh, four HP. I know there was a weapons case. Secret pistol. It's good. I had to take damage there to get out. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Slumping, man. Nah, not yet. This is, it's frustrating, you know? We need something to break ourselves out of this. Even with the strong spear, didn't quite get it done there. Uh, what would I have done differently? I should have taken out the triple machine gun earlier and, and just you know, shot into the crowd, basically, and, and I might have had a better chance at Okay, wrench melting is very interesting, actually. Um, I think I'm going to try to make a good run happen here, because I'm very disappointed with the way that daily went down, especially after a decent warm-up. Plutonium hunger seems like a good choice with melting, because you're going to be killing enemies from afar in some situations with the explosions, ideally. And Throne Butt and Strong Spirit. This is the smallest, like, second floor I've ever seen. If there wasn't that, it would have been the smallest anyway. Okay. That's what that's all about. Uh, laser Pistol is pretty good, but I'm going to stick with Wrench Slugger for now. Although, I should probably take the Laser Pistol over the Wrench. Because I don't want to get too close to enemies. Believe it or not. <laughs> I know my actions some sometimes contradict that. Okay, Slugger. Got him. Okay, we got plutonium hunger. We got the slugger. We got some ammunition. 
It's a pretty good setup here. What's our other one? Laser pistol. Laser pistol also solid, man. It's gonna make our life easier. We're not gonna quite hit level four, but we're gonna get pretty darn close. Okay, strong spear thrown butt. Uh, I actually think rhino skin is kind of bad as, as melting. Early, at least. Because if we get strong spirit, we want to be able to have it come back to its, like, next level. Like, like get re, uh, get re-ready as soon as possible. And of course, I just immediately died. Rhino skin would have saved us there, but that doesn't mean it was the right pickup. The right pickup was, uh, not taking damage there, if you'll allow me to be slightly cheeky. Okay, I'm tilting. The tilt is real. Let's, let's stop the tilt. I mean, you know, everybody tilts. That's what Michael Stipe said. All we can really do is, uh, try to reverse the tilt as it comes about. We hit level 2, YV. Is YV the guy to reverse the tilt? I would probably suggest no, but we'll see. I'm bad with YV is what I'm trying to get. I'm going to take a lucky shot for some kills regenerate ammo. But that was definitely, uh, if we had had patience there, I would have chosen patience. I do not like the screwdriver. But the one thing I will say about the screwdriver is that, at the very least, it's, uh... It's able to, like, well, do that. Break melee shots, basically. And that's decent for defense. Better than the revolver, which is doing nothing for us. Alright. Anti-tilt. We're gonna anti-tilt. Definitely not gonna level up here. That's okay. Anti-tilt has been engaged. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get some good mutations. We're gonna remember that YV is a good character. And we're gonna, we're gonna learn to live our lives again. We're gonna learn to love again. It's gonna be uh, Oscar worthy. Those double machine gun shots, he's not going to last too long with those up in his face. Yo, I'm very displeased with that damage, by the way, but life goes on, hopefully. Okay, level three. Level four is not going to happen here. I'm still salty about that robot throw. It was looking pretty good, and that triple machine gun eagle eyes, man. I like it. For now, we're going to roll machine gun, triple machine gun. Seems a little bit redundant. Oh, jeez. However, um, it can be great. If, again, if we get Eagle Eyes, we have a super good DPS weapon built in there. So close to level 4, so close. But we gotta go uh, back muscle here. Triple Machine Gun for now is pretty bad. Unless, we, uh, unless we're in an open area or we get Eagle Eyes. And then it can be pretty solid. That was just terrible, man. Just terrible. Nothing. Okay, but level four, that's something. And we look badass with this huge machine gun, well, triple machine gun on the back of our area here. We can also, we can fire six bullets at once with a triple machine gun. Turn it into like a sextuple machine gun. But we're really going to need Eagle Eye for that, but that's going to be awesome. That's not sextuple. Oh, it is sextuple, not septuple, my mistake. Prefixes are all jacked up. Lucky Shot is, you know, somewhat quietly helping us out a little bit at least. Good, they're not all dead. We probably want Slugger, and we'll keep tri Triple Machine Gun. It's a risk. That's a Mimic? No. It is a risk, because Triple Machine Gun might never turn out to be good. Look, I love Scarier Face, but I think I gotta go Eagle Eyes here, man. I don't want to cling to something that's, you know, cute or clever, but doesn't work. I really, you know, I believe in this item for now. Gotta really be careful about that. Sniper right there. There we go. Starting to rebuild this run. That can turn around pretty quickly. A rebuild can pretty quickly become, you know, a, a, a wake. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Slugger is an acceptable primary weapon. For now, and triple machine gun when the shit really hits the fan. We'll blow up the car. It's just safer this way. And what do you have for me? Flare gun. Can't do too much with it. I'm content with the way this floor has gone down. Now just, if I could get in there and like surgically kill the people surrounding the IDPD without angering said IDPD. That was probably not a good start. There they are, they're angry with me. Did I get like worse at dealing with that or did they change the spawns or do I just have like a really bad series of like uh, spawns there because the IDPD is furious with me on a regular basis now. Low bullets, fantastic. Yo, I don't want to go down yet. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Ah! 
Probably second stomach is a, a little bit of a no-brainer there. Um, I still don't think I want to do like Crown of Blood or anything like that. Does that explode into rads? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to take any of these. One day, you know, I'll, I'll practice with these and it'll be nightmare mode, but... Not yet. Not one day soon. I think I'm pretty impressed with that dodge there, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was terrible damage. Need a med kit. Yo, yo, give me this med kit. You're gonna give me a med kit. I should kill... Yeah, fire salamander's gotta go. Out of triple machine gun bullets, which are commonly or colloquially known as just bullets. Oh, so there's a second stomach med kit. It's gonna go away. I thought I had plutonium hunger. I did not have plutonium hunger. Okay, that's my bad. I, there's no reason for me to be d disappointed with that. <laughs> I was like, where did my... Why don't I have uh, plutonium hunger? Why aren't these things coming to see me? I'm sorry, Triple Machine Gun. Please. We don't have Plutonium Hunger? We had it last run. I guess that's why I'm under the assumption that I had it this run as well. That would have really helped me out a lot there. Alright, so the right-click uh, grenade launcher is a solid fucking play here. Uh, I don't know if I like that one. Oh! Yo. Yo, Ninja Alligator. Stop. We have Eagle Eye, so our grenades are like, they're on point, man. I think we have to take Triple Machine Gun back. Nah, but Grenade Launcher is doing so well. Ah! Oh, second stomach. You can still save the... I hate myself. There's no way of getting around it. My nuclear throne skills are making me uh, self-loathing right now. Oh, don't even. When those guys start hitting you, that's how you know you're having a Daniel Powder-sized bad day. This is all right. How do we get out of this? Seeing the throne would be nice. I'm not gonna put unreasonable expectations on myself. No looping. Just see the throne. With plant, we know the strats, you know. We know how it's done. So you gotta get back into the mindset, you know, you gotta right click on the enemy. Then you destroy them, and then you right click on your next target and destroy them. Oh, this damage. I'm playing sloppy, there's no two ways about it. Maybe the game got a little harder in its recent nerfs, or maybe my playstyle got nerfed a little bit. Uh, not uh, nerfs, but updates. Uh, my The game maybe was not nerfed, it was updated is what I'm trying to say. Okay, Bloodlust is great. I'm going to try Throne Bud, though, mix it up a little bit. Maybe that's the part of my problem. I'm sure a lot of people watching this have opinions on, you know, what my uh, problems are here. Honestly, I think I'm, I'm... I think I'm blowing it out of proportion a little bit, though. I think there is also just a lot of, like, I'm playing somewhat consistently instead of having, like, one run that blows the doors off and is amazing and then one run that... Totally, uh, you know, there are five runs that suck the big one. So what's nice about this is that, um, you know, we, we can basically use our uh, our plant-based abilities here as a kill shot. Definitely strong spirit, even though second stomach is so good. Um, so, like, we just hit the enemies, like, one less time. We basically have to shoot them less is what I'm trying to get at. In order to accomplish the same objective, we have to shoot them less. It's a big thing. We can set up choke points. Because we kill any enemy automatically when they're below, like, X amount of HP. Now, this isn't... Or I think it's a third, something like that. This isn't going to look that amazing in here, because most of these enemies will die in one hit anyway. But, it'll look great on bosses, and it'll look great as we get further and further into the into the game. And plants ability, not just offensive. You can see a very valid defensive option there as well. Set it up, watch the enemies run into it. Get out of the way yourself. Oh, it's a Mimic, huh? It's alright. Gain some HP back off of it. A little low on, on ammo here. I don't really want to take the jackhammer. I'd rather just get more ammo and hopefully uh, Rabbit Paw becomes the genesis of something more with that regard. Again, because of our weapon, most enemies will die in one hit anyway. So in a way, I almost should have stuck with something even like the revolver and 
save maybe some ammo, but this is a decent, pardon me, loadout for once we get, oh, what am I doing? A decent loadout for once we get into the later game as well. I think normally these guys might take two laser pistol shots, so as long as I hit with them, um, we're actually, yeah, they do take two, so we're accomplishing a little bit of ammo saving just by right clicking. Now, instead of slugger, we are going to take flat cannon um, because they accomplish two different things. Yeah, there we go. See, it actually it delivered the kill shot there. And we can use that to our advantage. Uh, the flat cannon a little bit better for clearing out like a, a whole room. So, ooh, geez. A little close there. I'm excited about this. And we've got a decent amount of ammo. Whatever. I'm, I missed with the, the setup shot there, but that's totally fine as far as I'm concerned. As long as we're still totally fine as far as I'm concerned. Good. Level 5. Yo, if we don't have the ability to get those rads, it's not the end of the world. We snuck out of there. Um, that's probably, like, by the way, a situation where I should have used the shit out of flat cannon. But I didn't. So we're going to learn to live with that. Uh, what's what's up with this weapon span? Double shotgun. Um, I, I prefer the flat cannon. It doesn't show up as much, which just automatically makes me think it's great. Look, you're not dead? How is that possible. That's the end of the level? I missed out on so much there. Uh, probably I love Eagle Eye, man, but I gotta go Rhino Skin, even if it would make Flat Cannon amazing. Okay, there's no doubt. Yeah, these guys have to die. All bosses are affected by Snare, though. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't be an idiot. The SMG fire is out of this world. I appreciate the med kit. We have awoken the boss within. That's okay. We're just gonna try this out. Get a flat cannon shot in there. You know what? I think we're gonna try laser pistol for now. And we'll use flat cannon on the next level just to keep it simple. There we go. Finish the job. A little close. We want more ammo for this if possible. Ooh, double flame shotgun probably beats flat cannon. Lucky me there. Mmm, um, laser cannon. Beats laser pistol. I would have to say probably. We'll take back muscle as well to be able to hold more ammo. Okay. Yes, there we go. We need space. Desperately. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hate, I hate this a lot. But okay, we made it happen. We made it happen. We're in. And we're actually going to get more HP than we've had in quite some time. And this is where, yeah, that kill shot snare is so good here. Double flame shotgun, a bit of a risky choice, and like, oh man, now I'm kind of wishing we took eagle eye, but it's okay. I think this was this was good in the end. The laser can a little bit more of like a slow firing weapon. Minigun is great uh, when it comes to fighting like late game enemies, but without eagle eye and without any guarantee that we're gonna get it, I don't think we can take it. Definitely, I, I'm so guilty of like. Making the dumbest mistakes, like walking into enemies, being like, we can save ammo if we do things this way. It's good, though. We made some progress here. This is good. This is good. We don't have trigger fingers, so... I mean, if we were really good with the snare, really confident with the snare... That was just a right-click there. Uh, we would probably consider using the shovel, but... As of right now, it scares me a little bit... Too much to justify. And, admittedly, the wave gun is more just an ignorance thing. I don't really understand it, so... I'm not gonna take it. What does it use? This, I've gone through this discussion so many times. It uses shells. I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy with double flame shotgun. And anytime we can save some ammo in the process is good. We are level 7. Uh, I think Eagle Eye over impact risks here. And now our double flame shotgun is going to be that much more potent. We actually killed uh, that guy in one hit, which is not... That's not what we've been doing. <laughs> it, it took every single one of the flames. Oh, super splinter gun, huh? I mean, let's let's try to fire it, because... Mm, they fire close, but we're going to have such ammo problems. Rook, ah. It's okay, buddy. That's, oh, we don't have second stomach yet? That's core, man. we got to get on that. I know. I made some mistakes today, Ruka. Don't be too mad at me, buddy. Life's a journey. Dig it. 
Yo, yo, that's that was a dumb decision. Good dodge. Lucky dodge. One and the same a lot of the time. Pop rifle. Can't really do too much with that. Oh, okay. It's a little scary in there. I know I haven't used, like, a uh, laser cannon at all. It's because it's slow, and it scares me. Auto shot. I mean, with eagle eye... Ooh, a little bit of stupid damage in there. With eagle eye, that could be incredible. That was even dumber damage. No, I need the reds! Oh, that wouldn't have helped that much, I guess. Okay, don't die. This might be where laser cannon has to shine. Yeah, yeah, come up here. Fight me up here, dude. I'm gonna take out the laser cannon. Yo, don't fight me in here anymore. I immediately regret everything about this. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. Oh my lord! Warm up run was the best run, but for now, oh, I gotta go. I gotta go spend some time in the mountains of Nepal and get my skills and nuclear throne back, whatever ones I had. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Pop up a doo.